Tonight we continue a brand new series spotlighting small businesses in our area called Open for Business. We understand that small businesses are the backbone of our communities and we are committed to showing our support by featuring a place to stop and shop small every Tuesday. Victoria Woodle is joining us from home as she kicks things off in style. Hey Tori. <laughs> hey, you. That's right. I mean, does anyone out there remember getting fitted for their school shoes? I went to St. Cecilia's and St. Basil's, and I remember a place called Phil's. I think it was in like the Ron Hurst area. That's where I went. Um, but if you're from Conshohocken or around that area, you probably went to Flacco's before you skipped into school. They've been around for quite a while, and guess what? They're still open and still kicking. Take a look. You don't happen to have a pair of saddle shoes in my size, do you? Probably. Black and white, blue and white, blue with the white reverse. I remember getting my school shoes, but my mom wouldn't let me get the black and white ones because she said I'd get them dirty too quick. Do you sell more of the black and white or the blue? Blue. See, no, moms, moms no. Okay. Knows. If you're looking for the perfect fit, you're right in between eight and a half and a nine. Flacco's in Conchahawken has been sizing and styling since 1926. Starting out as a small shoe repair shop, it eventually got its legs when Vince's father, Vince Sr., stepped in. His vision is what helped this family survive almost a century in business. My father told us you have to be diversified. So they've grown to sell the gamut from saddles to scrubs, sweet kicks for the kids, and plenty of green for screaming Eagles fans. But more importantly, during COVID, when their biggest seasons like prom, wedding, and back to school were all crushed, they had something else to sell besides shoes. Friends of mine who are just strictly in children's shoes, they're out of business. They couldn't uh, survive on that in there this year. At least the construction business wasn't going out. That was probably our busiest segment. Kept us going, but when it went down in March, we had more refunds going out the first month, month and a half, than we had income coming in. So everything took a hit, but you prevail with it, and uh, things will carry over into the next year, too. Carrying over is one thing, but how will they carry on? Vince's answer is pretty simple. It started out with them, and it could end with us, unless we step up. We helped establish Reebok, Adidas, and all when they first were starting out. It was us, the small business people, that put their products in our stores. And that's what's frustrating if you look how many businesses are failing. And it's not because they don't want to work. It's not because they're not doing the right type of structure. It's because people have a different mentality. And people say, oh, it's easier to do things online. It's too much trouble to drive to a business. Well, you drive to the restaurants. Put that time to go to a retail business in your community and give them a little bit. I thought that this piece and Flacco's in particular was a great way to kick off Open for Business because Vince puts it pretty simply. It's going to end unless we step up and support one another. So Vince, thank you for putting out that call to action. I think you did a great job with that. And Flacco's is really a great place. And while I was there, he also said, hey, you know, those small businesses in your area, they're the ones that are, you know, sponsoring your little league team and trying to do these little things to, to keep everyone together and to keep these small towns popping. So get out there, get to Flacco's, support them, and support a local retailer and restaurant in your area as well. And be sure, if you have any places that you love that you want us to take a visit to, uh, be sure to go on cbsphilly.com, look for the Open for Business icon, and submit a small business that you love and that you would like to be uh, see featured. Also, don't forget Thursday, we're featuring another restaurant in Taste with Tori within this open for business umbrella. Uh, we're heading back to Hunan in Ardmore, a Chinese restaurant that has been serving that community for a very, very, very long time. It's a local gen. And uh, Jessica, Yuki, I'm happy to be doing this segment and just to be back in the community, just sharing the love, right? 
Yes, absolutely. And we have to support local. It is more important now than ever. Tori, thank you. Thanks.